setup has different uh, networking and internet uh, protocols. So uh, just recently, we've been working with our Excel partners to upgrade the older analog cameras to HD. And our first project there was the Fort St. Brain Eagles out in Platteville, Colorado. So, uh, you know, we knew what we needed to do and everything works great when you're doing it on a bench top and doing it, you know, uh, on the desktop as a test. But we found and we found out in the real world what it's like to get through network security and, and things like that. So a few challenges there, but uh, we've got a fully brand new solar powered system with an HD variable zoom camera and now audio that we didn't have in the past. So that is up and going and we're tweaking and fine tuning that to get that video feed a little bit more fluid and, and not as choppy. So a little bit of fine tuning there, but a great success. Uh, Great job, <clears throat> excuse me, great job by Amy and the, the partners out at Excel that helped with that installation. Um, we will be doing that at a lot of the uh, other Falcon cams that, uh, that we have older systems here coming up this following year. Uh, we've run out of time. I think we've come to that conclusion here with this year with the weather here in the Midwest. Um, so switching over to HD, you know, um, it's a big deal and it's, it's an investment. The equipment costs more than some of the analog stuff that we used to use, so uh, um, success in moving our partners forward. The Philippine Eagle effort in the camera. You remember we uh, had an initiative, and this is something that, that we had talked about with Bob, and we had the captive Philippine Eagle camera. Uh, big deal to see what it would it take to put a jungle cam for the Philippine Eagle and work with the Philippine Eagle Foundation and the Philippine uh, indigenous people to put a camera out in the jungle and see if we could capture and recreate and, and take some of the experience that we have with these cams here in the U.S. and see if we could do that over in the Philippines. So we raised money. We had our Philippine Eagle fundraiser back in February of 2016 here. It was a, a very good success. We had amazing bands. Uh, it was up at the Celtic Junction in St. Paul. Um, we will have that coming up again here this year for a fundraiser on February 18th. February 18th, mark your calendars. We'll be sending something out on that again at the Celtic Junction. And we'll have a new list of a couple things that we'll be fundraising for that. But uh, So the money that we, we raised there, we were in a joint effort and collaborative effort, which we still are with Cornell uh, University, Cornell Lab of Ornith Ornithology. And... Uh, Neil Reddick and, and uh, Kike Arnold and Charles Eldemeyer uh, took a trip over to the Philippines. They worked and they got out into the field. They, they scaled trees. They looked at eagle sites. And, and they also worked with the partners with the infra infrastructure that we would need to do uh, any transmitting if we had to. Um, and the long story short, we, we found out a lot of information. Uh, it was a successful uh, trip. What we came to the conclusion of is that it is going to take a lot to do that. It's going to be a big financial outlay, something that we're not ready to uh, commit the finances to. Uh, Philippine eagles don't nest in the same site every year, so to come up with an eagle cam, we'd probably have to outfit and do multiple sites. Uh, we know about what the cost is for one site, so that, that's one issue. The other issue that we came up with is that uh, we were going to try to use our cellular router technology to transmit video and just the speeds that are available on the islands there in the Philippines through the, the cellular network providers. There's not a real good, efficient and cost effective method to send even near HD uh, video across through cellular networks there. So um, we've got some technology challenges there, but long and short, uh, successful scout trip. Um, we've laid the groundwork, and now if we can figure out the transmission speed technology and raise some money and get some interest there, um, we also really want to make sure that we're doing the best that we can do to support the Philippine Eagle Foundation. Uh, Dennis there and his crew, um, that's one of our next steps is to reach out and ask uh, how can we best help them. Is it a camera? Is it... Uh, funding, you know, what is the best thing that we can do to help with the full PD call effort? Uh, I think uh, we're looking at about four minutes till three o'clock here. So, um, so again, success with N2B and the HD cams. Decora North 
Eagle's uh, partnership with Explore and streaming that camera over to the explore.org folks. Uh, uh, a great partnership there. Um, also the, the Great Spirit Bluff Falcons, streaming those over to Explore. Um, our Falcon Monitoring and Banding Program was a smashing success. Uh, we learned a lot. We got the new normal with our, our, our new team, uh, minus Bob, and then um, our, uh, our banding, fledging, uh, tracking program here with Brett Mandernack uh, uh, with the Eagles here. So that's still going. Um, most through all this, the interesting part is we've been working with Iowa Public Television, and we've also been taking our own Nest Cam video. So uh, we are planning on doing some things in the future here with some video and possible possible program on Iowa Public Television. So um, that's all going down in the background. So that's uh, um, that's pretty much it for for last year. Uh, again, thank you so much for all your support last year. We're looking forward to this coming year and. We kick it off here with fundraising, Giving Tuesday, and we're going to come up with our next uh, live presentation. I'm going to switch over to the Decora cam just briefly and get ready for that, and we should be on in about five, ten minutes. Thank you, and we'll see you in a little bit.